Sure, you could go to college to be a doctor or a lawyer, but some students at Ivy Tech can now go for precision agriculture. It's a rapidly growing field, taking an industry that used to be a lot of guesswork and gut feelings and adding new perspectives and solid data. News 10's Lacey Clifton has the story. And it's actually the same what better way to learn than to take the classroom out to the real world? I put in the path of the field and then it just flew around on its own. I didn't have to do much, just did, did its own thing. Jessica Grease is a sophomore at Ivy Tech in Terre Haute. That's where a precision agriculture program just started this year. The goal? Prepare students for the future of the ag industry. Well, I mean, it's the way the world's going. Um, there's so much you can do with the technology that's out there now as far as uh, taking pictures of your crop. And the list of applications for drones goes on. According to Darren Kohlmeyer, the chair of Precision Agriculture at Ivy Tech, it's an industry more students should consider. That seems to be one of the, uh, the shortages in the industry. There's not a lot of people with the knowledge to go out to work in this industry. So let's talk numbers. Jim Love, the, the light robotics like manager of Bex Hybrids, came to speak to the class. But, uh, he says the unmanned aerial vehicle industry is worth $500 billion with 600,000 jobs. It's really, really nice to know that um, what you're going for is going to end up paying off because there's so many degrees out there now that you go spend four years on and you won't make back until 20 years later. Love says it's only a matter of time before drone usage isn't the brand new thing. But for now, this tech will stay on top. Just thinking about it, it's hard to believe that it's like we're in this time right now where all this technology is just totally taking off. In Vigo County with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Lacey Clifton, News 10. Love says while some may find the new FAA rules on drones restricting, he thinks it'll open the doors for new operators. He says things will only get easier once everyone is regulated and on the same page.